So in this video, I am going to explain the solution of this problem which was recently asked in cohorts around 898-84 division 4. So first let us analyze the problem statement. So the name of the problem is E. So the name of the problem is money trees. So what problem has said that we will be given a height of trees which is represented in her in array H. Or or rather say or rather say my H of I represent the height of height of I of tree. And corresponding to every tree, I have another array which is array A, which represents the number of apples in the in the tree I. Or you can see if my you can see here if my height of first tree is four, the number of apples in my first tree is equal to three. So this is the this is the input we have to given we have given. So what problem is said that we can pluck or we can pick uh, we can you can you can say we can choose apples from higher tree such that if my height of highest tree is divisible by my height of i plus one tree if this condition is satisfied then i can choose both the apples from highest tree and apple from i plus one tree also so you can say if i have a continuous array such that of size uh, of, of size l l plus one till r then if my every element of i if my every element is divisible by its next element then i can choose all the corresponding fruits in that sub in the sub array so but there is but there is another condition if at any point my number of fruit increases by k then i cannot consider that sub array so we have to tell what is the length of maximum sub array possible if my if my number of apples in that sub array is smaller than k and and this condition and this sub array condition is also satisfied such that my height of i h tree is divisible by my height of i plus one tree so hope you have understood the problem statement so now let us begin the problem solution so i will take this sample test case only so because problem is pretty much easy if you understand now properly so you can see here so you can see if I took my sub array this so you can see this is the height h and this is a sub array this is a height h and this is given as uh, apples in my ith tree so if I consider it sub array 4 4 2 4 1 so you can see I can choose this sub array or I can choose this sub array because my 2 is divisible by 4 and my 4 is divisible by 4 also and you can see my 1 is divisible by 4 so which means I can choose 2 3 4 1 8 so which means I can choose answer from this sub array or I can choose answer from this sub array so keep it here only now let's begin to the next next input. I will commit back later to it so now I will commit back later to it so now if I show you this this sample test case so in this I have like 6 2 3 1 in this I can choose either this sub array because my 2 is divided by 6 or I can choose either this sub array because my 1 is divided by 3 which means I can choose 4 5 1 2 or rather say I can choose this sub array or I can choose this sub array similarly you can see in this sub array you can see it is 2 2 4 and corresponding I can choose the whole sub array which is 7 9 and 10 because my or sorry which means I can choose this sub array or this individual element also because my individual element is, is can can also be answer possible which means I can either choose from this sub array or I can either choose from this sub array or, or this element you can see or then this is a single element then I will then I will simply check if my element is smaller than or equal to k then I will simply print uh, 1 or uh, else I will simply print 0 but now if I come to the, this last test case you can see my this whole sub array because my 2 is divisible by 4 4 is divisible by 4 and similarly my all the numbers are divisible from each other which means I can consider this all as a sub array so you can see there is a pattern here so what is the pattern you can see I, I, will, I am always considering sub arrays you can see in first case I am considering I am considering this sub array then, in, then the, or this sub array which means I will uh, I will either get answer from this sub array or this sub array or in second case x you can see I will get answer from this sub array or this sub array in third you can see I will get answer from this sub array or this sub array or in this sample test you can see 
I will get answer from I will I will get answer from this array. So you can see I can break the break the problem accordingly. So how will I, how I will break the problem? I will simply group all the elements which are divisible of each other, which or, or rather say if their heights are divisible. Or you can see if my if my if my this height condition is satisfied, then I will simply group all this all these array elements. So now next, how will I process this indivisible subarray? So it is pretty much simple. I hope you will you so I will simply use a sliding window approach here. So how so why sliding window approach? Because I have to tell maximum length of maximum length of subarray possible such that its sum is smaller than or equal to k. Because you can see it is a classical sliding window problem. The problem is said that the maximum subarray size such that my sum of subarray is smaller than or equal to k. So I hope you have understood all my intuition. So how is the problem? I will simply first I will simply break my array according to given height. So how I will break if my current height is divisible by my height plus one, then I will simply put both these elements in single sub single array and store all these subarrays in a 2D vector or 2D array. Then for individual for and for then for every individual array, I will simply process it by using sliding window process. Then by sliding window process, I will simply try to find the maximum length of subarray possible such that the sum of its element is smaller than or equal to k. Or you can see, or you can see, I will simply or rather say by by maintaining a, another array, I will simply put the number of apples in my ith tree here because then I will I will not have to process it again and again. So directly by calculating, so directly by checking the ith tree or ith subarray, or you can see this subarray, I will simply directly put the number of apples in the corresponding frame. So I have to understand problem intuition. If I show the code, the code is pretty much simple. So here you can see. First of all, what I am doing? If my if my any of the element is smaller than or equal to k, then my answer is minimum. My minimum answer could be one, because then zero cannot be an answer at all. So I will simply maintain a 2D vector name as array. So now what I will do? If my i is element is divisible by i plus one element, then I will simply push it in my temporary array. Then I will iterate. Then I will iterate till my that element is divisible by my next element. So rather say if my i element is divisible by my i minus one element, then I will simply put all these element in the very array. Or if at any point my this condition is not satisfied, then I simply uh, get out of my while loop and push it that into my array. Then if my if i hasn't reached my end of the array, then I will simply check for the next i. Or then I will simply check for the next array, or rather say the next part of the array. If my that condition is satisfied, then I will simply make a new temporary array and similarly store all this all this array which which could be minimum which could contain my possible solution. So after maintaining all this array, I will simply iterate my 2D vector in which I am containing all the temporary arrays. Or then I will simply do I will simply use my sliding window approach to find the maximum length of subarray such that its sum is smaller than or equal to k. You can see this is a sliding window approach. This is a classical problem of sliding window. You can find it on lead code also. So you can see I will simply make two pointers i or j and make and uh, and maintain a sum variable. So if my then I will simply add my jth jth number in my sum and check if my sum is if my till sum. So you can see my sum at i s j th position is smaller than or equal to k. Then I will simply store the maximum maximum of this is my subarray size. Then you can see my my sum is smaller than or equal to k. Then I will simply store its size and increase my j. But if any point if my sum is increased by k, then I will simply start decreasing from the left side of array, left side of the i s array. You can see the the subarray I have sorted because first I will only process this subarray. Then I will simply process this subarray only. Because if I am processing, if I am processing this subarray, then it has not been related to its previous array or next array. Or rather, say if I am if I if I am processing this subarray, or there is also an array, array here. So then, if I am processing this array, then there is no relation between this array and this array. This is an independent array which I am processing. I hope you have understood this much. So then, if you here it is, if my current sum become greater than or equal to k. Then you start decreasing from the previous side, and also check the condition again. So maximum of all this answer will be a final answer. So this is the whole problem addition. If you if you understand the solution, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. And till then, stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.